Hi everyone, I'm here with a card share. I made a few more cards and move these off to the side so we can look at them one by one. I used my Sizzix Pop and Cuts die to make the insides of these as well as um, I cut the outside piece, the actual card base itself, by hand. Um, so this way you can attach it because these come, um, the Sizzix Pop and Cuts cuts this dimensional piece here. But anyway, I used Studio G um, chipboard embellishment there. And it says, You are amazing. Layered up a few of my scrap papers and colored in this coffee mug. I'm not sure of the stamp company, but if you are interested, leave a comment below and I will let you know. And I used on the inside here a Studio G embellishment, some Studio G bling, I believe. And there's another embellishment from Studio G. And then the little uh, Kiki from CC Designs. I think she's adorable. I colored her up actually with um, color pencils. I think she came out really sweet. And that's the first card. The second card here is another CC's design image. She's really sweet too. And I used some bling. And another Studio G embellishment here with balloons. I love the papers. I'm sorry about the glare over here, guys. Um, in the shadow, I love how the papers look together. They have just a slight difference, so it's like a tonal gradation. It's really pretty. And open it up. And on the inside, I used Studio G embellishment right here and Lawn Fawn stamp set here for the strawberry. And a die cut. This is from the Cricut. Um, I think it's from the Accent Florals. I'm not sure, but if you really want to know, let me know and I'll go through and find for you. The Studio G cut out here. It's Celebrate Every Day. And then some more strawberries down here. Um, trying not to create a glare, but so you can see. I did color them up with my Copic markers. And then the little white dots there. I used my uh, white gel pen. And I really love how this card came out. I think it's really cute. Here's another one. This is Dream Big and another one of those flower cutouts. And I made uh, another dry layer here. And another Studio G Dream Big and Present. And we open this one up. I'm going to pull this up closer. It says Celebrate across the top and the banner at Studio G as well. And some blue bling on the sides. And Cece's design image, which I really love her. She's really pretty. And I colored her up with my Copic markers and another Studio G piece with a little beautiful butterfly there. And I really like that one too. And one more, guys. <laughs> this one is a Studio G piece here. And I have some chipboard butterflies that have some glitter on them. You can see the sparkle. And I did put three little tiny, um, I believe they're almost four millimeter. Um, rhinestones, the little gems there, I'm following the butterfly so it's like his little trail. And you open it up. Let's see if I can get the whole thing in there. <laughs> I used some Sama Girl flowers, which I really, really, I love Sama Girl stamps. They're my favorite right now. And I used my Martha Stewart punch for the little kind of like well greenery I would say ferns but I'm not sure but they're little greenery and then on the bottom is the same and I colored those up in my Copic as well and then the girl is actually greeting farm and I love her she's super super sweet and I colored her up in my Copics too I'll try to show you but they're all dimensional and it's super cute I really love how they turned out I think I'm kind of gotten hooked on making cards again. It's been a while, but falling back into it. Love them. Alright, I'll talk to y'all later. Thanks for watching. Bye.